Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hi, I'm a little nervous because I'm trying my wireless mic again. I put it back together and I'm gonna see if it works and we're gonna carry on from whence we left off. Um, it's actually uh, the same day for me, but this will be uploading the next day for you guys. Um, we're still scrapping, we're scrapping away here. Okay, and um, uh, using what we got and we stopped in the middle of making a mini booklet or a mini journal inside of a journal. So the only thing I did was I, uh, so basically grab some scraps and let's play. This is a scrap busting scrap with me. Um, let's just have some fun with the paper. And here we are. So I just took a piece of paper and I folded it in half and then I folded it in half again and I glued it so it would make a little cover. And uh, because I was trying to stay true to form, I had pulled out a bunch of these um, green dyed papers that I made and I was um, decided I was just going to use them up because I did officially pull them all out. I don't I guess I don't have to use every single one of them. I could use them for something else that we make today but um, at least I'm going to make one, two, three, let's do five of these. That's going to be a significant little booklet here back up a little so you can see better. Okay, um, so this is going to be a very easy little journalette, I guess. Uh, you could call it, or a little booklet, or a little notebook, or a little journal. Um, but these are fun to make, very easy, very quick, and you can use any kind of paper. And boy, I hope this is recording. <laughs> okay, so now one of these is the cover. And these are the signatures. Now we do have to deal with the sealed part at the top. But the nice thing about these papers, since they're all pretty much the same size, we need to keep the spines intact in the back. Okay, how many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, but what we want to do is cut a little bit off the top. Okay, let's see what the best way to do this is on camera. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go over here and cut it off with my guillotine. I think that's the fastest way to do it. So hang on, I'm right here. Haven't left you, I'm still here. And I'm just guillotining off that top part. This is also going to make my the height a little bit smaller than this, which will make these nestle in here nicely. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the edge here just to bring this edge in just a little bit to nestle. I like a good nestle, okay. There we go. Had to use a little muscle with that one, but we are good. Okay, so now these, yes, yes, sunshine. Mother muscled. I know, these are all gonna go in here. And I'm gonna make this a one signature just to make it um, easy. So now each one of these gives us two pages. Let's see, one. Make sure I have them all here. Get myself all, all, all messed up. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's math involved. No, no. Okay, here we go. These are coming. Things coming together. It's gonna be a cute little journal. Yeah, very just cute, adorable. Okay, we got everybody? Okay, there, we are good. So let's clip these together. So it just makes life easier. And here is our little cover. Um, and let us get, uh, you know, I put my pin away. Hang on, I, I have a new home for my, my pin now. Okay, here it is, here's my big um, big eyed needle pin and uh, it's a yarn needle or darning needle something like that but you, you can find them in the in, I think I bought mine in Walmart originally and let's just get some pretty thread of any known type here's this pretty copper thread I love this stuff and since it's the holidays let's use that and that, that's pretty isn't it I don't know some grab bag um, I think it's embroidery floss not sure don't care. <laughs> but uh, the only thing you want to do is uh, tech, tech, uh, doo -doo -doo, test for uh, integrity. Make sure that if you're using vintage threads or um, anything like that, that you check to make sure that they have not degraded over time. Sometimes they can do that depending on how, what they're exposed to, different environments. Um, yeah, so let me make sure I have enough. I have a little knot issue here. I think, ooh, one two oh boy we're just gonna make it all right we're just gonna see what happens here i'm just gonna go for it all right so i'm taking my signatures placing them on the cover okay and then i gotta cut this off because i can't get farther than the knot okay here we go 
There's a knot. No, not a knot. Yes, the knot. I guess I could take a needle. It would be helpful if I used my eye my glasses. Oh, maybe I could get this apart. It's the life of a crafter, you know? You think everything's smooth and dandy, and then you got a knot in your, in your ever so darn pretty... Oh, let's just cut it. <laughs> we sit here for a hundred years trying to figure that out. Okay, we're just gonna have to hope we have enough. Well, I guess I could I could use the other piece. It's longer. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll just use the other piece. It's longer. I'll just go with that. Anyway, we'll cut that knot off. There's like two knots in here, three knots. What's going on? Okay, there we go. I think this is long enough. Yeah, that looks way long enough. Okay, we are we are golden, or we are at least copper, because that's what this thread is. Okay. So I'm going to take this clip off, and I'm going to clip it to the cover just to keep it all snuggly-boo. There we go. And um, I'm not going to use the crocodile because this is relatively, it's just paper. I'm going through just, I'm going to, I'm just going for it. Here we go. I'm through. Yep, there we go. Okay. Oh, no, wrong spot. What am I doing? In the middle. Who, who, what, where did you ride in from? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Some other planet. Starting in the middle for the three-hole pamphlet stitch. Isn't that funny? Make a million of these and then I'll forget how to make them. Um, and then up at the north. In. Down in the south. Turn it over. Watch your fingers. Eh. Good. This one has a more of a point. The other one I have is a really dull one, but this one has a little bit of a point, which makes a pro process like this easier. So just FYI. I would get a little pack with different nubs, big eyes, little uh, little smaller eyes, and uh, some sharp and some not sharp. In this case, a sharper one will be your friend. Okay, so that was easy. All right. Now I'm just going to snug. Okay. Right over left. Left over right. Makes a knot healthy and tight. There we go. And then one more for good measure in case we did it wrong. That's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> at least that's what I do. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to trim these off. Isn't this a pretty thread? I just, I don't know. It's just, does it pick it up on the thing? It's just so pretty. It's got a little goldy something, coppery color in it. Okay, so now we have a little booklet. And that was, that was easy as pie to make, right? Pie's not that easy. Who are we kidding? Maybe it is. There are pie aficionados who can, like, make pie with the best of them. I'm not one of them. Eating pie. Now, I'm an expert at that. That's right. Okay. Zoom in. Okay. And adjust. Okay. Now, so we have the front. Okay. So the whole purpose of this, this whole thing we're doing is to use up our scraps of what we have. So here we go. Okay. This is what we've already made. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Right. And now we, we have this pile of stuff and we're going to make more stuff. Let me back out a little more. Oh, Whoa. hey, where are you going? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> It's like a jack-in-the-box sometimes here. Are we still recording? Yes, we're still recording. Okay, so what do I have left? I had some... Here, I had this. I think I pulled some extra scraps in for the shot, uh, for the thing, but I have this. That's kind of cool, right? Yeah, that's cool. This I have left over. That's definitely left over from the other day. This is probably new. That's probably new, new. Okay, what is left over? I had... I think I had this. This looks like it was left over. All right, so let's do something with what we have. Okay, oh, that's kind of nice too. Yeah, oh yeah, well that's very interesting. Look at that from eight, after 1871. I don't know if it's actually, this might be a, it's a very old book. I don't know if this book was from 1871, but it might've been referring to uh, after the Treaty of Utrecht, yeah, in 1713, you know, it might've been a historical book or something. Uh, but anyway, either way, any, any way. Okay, what I did do was I covered my inks so they would not get dry. There, stay there. And now we're going to decorate this. Okay, so, oh yeah, we also have this. We were playing with that. I think we might have had this. Um, let's just go ahead. Oh, that's interesting. Look at that. Sheep butt. Mm-hmm. There's brown bulk sheep butt. Bulk sheep butt. And uh, that's very nice, isn't it? Isn't that nice? Yeah, that's so nice. I think we'll put that on the cover. <laughs> yeah, I think we will. Um, okay. Yeah, that's just the way it goes. This probably breaks. Oh, there's probably goat butt too here. Nope, I don't know. Okay, I'm tearing this. Okay, I'm gonna put that on there. Let's just get here. 
All right, let's just put that on there. Okay, but we're gonna ink it, and we we have other colors. So let's. Oh, we have. Oh, we're working on blue, so we want some pop. No, so blue and green won't really pop, will it, Pam? But it might. It might halo effect it. Let's go closer. It might halo effect it. You know, let's try that. Let's try it with the green. Nah, let's try it with the blue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's my uh, broken china. Happens to be the one I'm working with today. And I use pretty much the same dauber for all blues, same green dauber for all greens, same dauber for all browns, and uh, I just kind of, you know, it all blends together in the end. You know what I mean? You can be a purist. You could totally be a purist and have separate daubers and keep the little fuzz pad under here and be totally organized. You are mightier than thou, that's for sure. Uh, uh, much easier than moi. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. Oh, that looks kind of cool. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And we're grabbing our Fabrifix just because it's here and it's ready and it's just never fails me. It's always good. Here we go. Just a little. And the old Sugar Bells icing piping bottle, which I found a whole stash I had hidden from myself in the garage. So, yeah, I'm going to use those. I like them. Um... Okay, there we have that, and then, then, I think I want to use some of this very old paper of something. I don't know what it is, but it's just got the coolest feel, and maybe it needs some white to break up, you know, the, the everything. Okay, yeah, this is good, This, but it's also words, so maybe we want to do something different, you know what I mean? No, some pink. We could just go crazy with the pink here. Okay, let's, uh, oh, okay. let's make a little... Let's make a little book plate or something for the bottom. Yeah. Maybe we'll put a word or a stamp or something in here. Let's just do something. That's what, here? That's kind of cute. How about that? All right, now we can take the blue and we can also ink that. Look at me using these different colors. Oh, must be a holiday. Well, it's not, but it should be. Yes. Okay. Well, you could put that there, right on there. You can still see sheep butt. That's okay. Um, maybe like it down here, better, Or maybe floating by itself, barely touching. A butting. It's a butting. <laughs> oh, having way too much fun here. Um, I think I'm going to put it right there. Yeah, I'm just going to go big and go home. Go home with this big butt here. <laughs> this is the big butt book. <laughs> uh, Okay, there we go. All right, we, we're layering. Very pretty. Very nice. We have a little this. This is very pretty. We could put that on there. Eh, no, not really. We need some more contrast. Let's see. What can we do? Uh, well, what do we have to work with? Okay, not that. And, uh, oh, we have this. This is pretty. We could do something with this. This is very nice. Oh, we could do something. Hmm, let's see. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Maybe we'll just do that. It's very simple, yet um, and understated. Oh, we like that. Yes. Here we are back in the Catherine Deneuve of it all. Here we go. Yes. Oh, no. Too long. And we're off. Doop. Doop. There we go. Very cute, huh? That looks nice. Okay. Um, do we want to put something else there, too? I don't know. Maybe that's too much. I'm yeah, just doing goofy things. I don't know. I'm not... Let's see. Let's see. Is it okay? Meh. I don't know. I think maybe just, just this by itself. And I'm going to use the old glue stick trick. Here we go. Scotch Create glue stick, if anybody's curious. It's a good, you can do light fabric projects with this. Um, and this would be a very light fabric project. Okay, doing the thumb technique. Okay, got that. I'm going to come down and just slap it down. There we go. There we have that. And um, I feel like it needs a focal point or something. Let me go rummage for a focal point. Okay, I'm over here. I'm in my... What am I in? Okay, I'm just going to grab a, a DG kit or something. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Okay, grabbing something fast. Okay, what do we have? i got some birds. You can never go wrong with a bird. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Should we do, do him? Or, uh, the pink kind of goes nice with the pink. So why don't we do that? Okay, let's tear you. See, okay, here's the example of uh, when you hold it in your left, tear forward with the right, 
you get that little white edge, which is so cute. You know, I like it. <laughs> um, I just, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, and if you're the other hand, then switch them around and it should work. Don't quote me on it, but everything seems to point to yes, said the magic eight ball. Okay, boy, I'm sure hopefully this is, you can hear the sound. Okay, there we go, almost lost his head. Oh yeah, a little, there. Okay, there, there, okay, that's good. We could do it on, no, he doesn't like an angle. Okay, all right. Now maybe we'll brown him up, hmm? Absorb some of that nice brown edging that is all with the white edging, which is really raw and porous. It's gonna accept the ink nicely and look all grungy and, you know, that kind of look. Okay, there, no, there, no, there, maybe just there. Maybe just wants to be sitting there quietly, not causing any problems. If I put him here, he's gonna cover all the sheep butts. So we want, it, we want the sheep butts to show. All right, we'll just put you here. Sometimes you gotta try them in different spots, you know? And just go from that. All right, there you go. Okay, now, I think you still need a little something. You know what, since we have this pretty thing here, I think I'm just gonna, where's those pieces with the lovely knots? Here you are. Oh, look at that, now you came right on done. Figures, right? Yep, that's the way it goes. Okay, you're a good piece, you're a good piece. There's another knotty one around here somewhere. Oh, they all, there's apparently all not free at the moment. Yeah, look at that. Okay, let's do our bunny ear bow. Bunny ear bow. So that we can get the tails pointing down. Okay. And if they're too long, just pull them back, pull them back. Until you get bow of right length. Oh, this bow is slippery. I must tighten you. I will tighten you now. <clears throat> there. Now I will make you loose again by pulling on your tails, causing all sorts of mayhem. There we go. All right, where's those cute little scissors? Okay, AliExpress. I got them on AliExpress. Um, I think they're called like retro vintage scissors, something like that, but you can, you can buy them in like singles or like packs of five different styles. They're really cute, aren't they? And they work well, I was, I was worried. But um, yeah, no, they work great. They're nice for um, fussy cutting or just little projects. Or you just, you just feel like working with something sort of pretty, you know? That's pretty, isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. Okay. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Okay. You can probably get them on Amazon, eBay and stuff. I haven't looked yet. Or Etsy, I'm sure. Okay, there you need to go in there, but you have to have something. Like Maybe we need to put some of this up there. Yeah, I think that's what needs to be going down up here. It needs to have like a matching contrast sort of something. All right, let's 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 do that again. Let's get a little piece of this lace going here. Come on, lace. You're going to be laced up. All dressed up to the nines. To go play and do things. Okay, there we go. All right, stick you down. And my little bow went here, okay. And I was gonna put you here, I think, yeah. All right, there we go. Open up these little, come on, look pretty. Look pretty for mama. There we go, oh, no, flipped over. All right, all right, I'll glue you down, you'll have no choice. There we go, okay, that's not bad. You're gonna wiggle on me, that's all right. All right. There. Well, okay, that's not the greatest bow in the world. Can't see the loops, but hey, it's my bow. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah. Sometimes these things get a little fussy on you. You know what I mean? They can like talk back. There's a little sass going on here. Oh, that's when we come in with the big kahunas and we use our tweezers. We try this way. Here's a technique. Tweezer. Tweezer gluing with Pam at the Paper Outpost. That's right. Fantastic technique. Feel free to call it after me. <laughs> or not, that's okay. Okay, there we go. All right, now we have a bow. Yeah, look at that, that's good, right? Yeah, 
All right, so we have this. I think it's very cute, and I think we will well, just lightly ink up the edges. Not too much, because it's got pretty um, uh, coloring because of the paper. So I just light, just a little, not much, just fuss, you know? There we go. All right, I think that's kind of cute. And here we phew, I mean, this is just adorable. Look at this, who doesn't, who doesn't love this? This is amazing, I love this. And uh, it's very simple. It's got the squoosh factor, you know what I mean? And it can be compressed to a nice thin size. And that could be included inside a journal or clipped onto a page in between two signatures possibly, in the front, in the back, on the inside cover, or you could put it in addition to your journal and maybe bind it on top as a, as a bundle, which could be a lot of fun. And I might just leave this plain. I mean, let people do what they want with it, but um, apparently I can't do that. So I'm going to put a, just a stamp of something there, just to say I, I got them started. You know what I mean? So they're not wondering like, where do I go from here? Oh, now I know where to go. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, so they're, they're good. They're good, they have that. And let's just go on to something else. Let's make a bunch of stuff here. Um, I totally forgot to make, use this. Oh well, too bad. We're just moving forward and moving onward. And um, okay, I did not grab that. Okay, we'll just use what's on the desk here, whatever we have. What is this? We have this weird stuff, let's use that. Oh, and this is really pretty because it's like all, I don't know, I wanna call it moth-eaten or something, which is kind of cool. It's very cool. Let's make um, let's make uh, some little clusters out of this. Yeah, that would be really pretty. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and here's some words. Here's words. Okay, here's some words with a white background. That's going to show nicely on here. And uh, maybe we can just scrunch this up more and make it like a weird little papery thing. Let's do that. I don't know what this is, but it's like it's probably craft paper from a hundred years ago. Now let's squash. Okay, so we've squashed it. And now we're going to put some stuff on it. All right, okay, fold the legs. Here we go. Um, are we inking, Pam? Yeah, let's ink. All right, let's try the green this time. Okay, this is peeled paint. And here's my dauber right, right. I tried Velcro, that didn't work. That was ridiculous. It kept falling off. I tried to Velcro it to a, a bin. Nah, nah. Grab and go, much easier. Grab and go, grab and go. Oh, what side do we want to use? Just reading what it says. In the spring, there's plenty. Oh, that's nice. We really like that, yes. Okay. In the spring, there's plenty. Plenty. Maybe a little pink, too. Just a little on that side. Yeah. Maybe a little over there. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Okay, so here we go. Just go we're just going to glue it on. We're not going to ask any questions. We're not going to take any names. We are not going to judge our project. We are just going to create something out of nothing. Here we go. Nothing becoming something before your eyes. Look at that wonder. Isn't that fabulous? That's fabulous. I know. I know. <laughs> All right. Maybe we can mount it onto something. How about this scrap? The scrap's doing nothing. Sitting here looking scrappy. All right. I'll just put you on there. I'll just make a bigger background for you. All right. You want more background? I'll give you more background. There you go. One little sharp edge there. We want to get rid of that. Okay. Just glue you down there. Now you have to go. Okay. Let's just glue you down. I'm going to, since you're all lumpy and bumpy, I am going to grab the Fabrifix in the Sugar Bells icing piping bottle because it's easier when you have a delicate piece to glue, put glue on it and then glue the whole thing down. Okay, how about that? There. That's how we craft. Yep. <laughs> That's how it's done. Yeah, you just uh, slap her down and you carry on. That's right. Okay. That's what we got. That's kind of cute, huh? All right, and you could do something. I still have this little, this little funny thing. I want to seem to do something with it. Do you want to be a part of this? No, you look weird there. Why, why are you looking weird? I don't know. I don't know why I'm looking weird. Make me look good. I'll try. Okay, I'll do my best. I'm gonna take this little part of you here. Maybe I don't need all your frilly foo-foo. What? Nope, goodbye. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this one little piece and maybe just where could I put it that it would it would make it have impact? Here? Oh no. Maybe no? Yeah? No, well, it's gonna show up down there, but that doesn't mean anything to anybody. Um you're the wrong color. That's the problem. You're disappearing. Um it's okay though, because we have some of this. Maybe we could use some of this. How about just that number? Let's just use the one number. Somebody wrote 
probably a hundred years ago. Isn't that cool? That's so cool, isn't it? All right. Sorry, we're going to lose your zero. Uh, I'll just put you here for no rhyme or reason. Okay, but let's ink you. Let's ink you. You are old, but we're making you look older. That's okay. That's okay. All right, let's glue you down. All right, and we may, we may have to. Okay. There's something about touching the different pieces. Like, see how? Oh, so it touches this piece, this piece, and this piece. Kind of pulls it all together. Now let's go look for some weird stuff that we don't normally use. What's in there? Let's look in here. What's this? Huh. It's kind of like, I think I made clusters. Oh, look at that. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. But we need something that pops a little. What is this? Oh, this is just like that. That's kind of cool. How about that? There? That's kind of cute. Oh, I got a little one. What's that? Oh, I got this. Yep, how about that? <laughs> you know, you gotta try these things on for size. You never know until you until you do that. Okay, here's a tiny little oh, this is an old Victorian scrap. I wonder if somebody fussy cut that out. Boy, that's a lot of uh, fussy cutting. Okay, it says remember me. Oop. Come here, I can I have to catch you first. It says remember me. Is that cute? I wonder what they used to use that stuff for. I mean, I think they used to use it in their scrapbooks and stuff. Let's see, where, where would it look best? Down there? Kind of looks cute in the, in the white area. We'll just stick it there. No good reason. But I feel like I need something up here. All right, let's... Oh, the depths of what to do. Here's a little piece of nothing. Let's borrow this. Let's take some of that off here. Oh, okay, got it. Maybe I want to do like a little... What's, what are you? You want to become part of this? We could do, maybe we could make like a little mini cluster. Yeah, stuff out of nothing. Here we go. What are we doing here? Nobody knows. No, not working. I like the pink though. The pink's working. Okay, maybe I'll just stick you there, but I feel like there must be something, something deep. Here we go. Here we go. This is going to answer all the problems. I have found it. It is this butterfly, but you're saying, where's cream? It's going to finish now. It's white on the back. That's right. That's what I need. I need that there. I just, I just do. I don't know why. Um, okay, put it down, Pam. Before you change your mind. Okay. There's a butterfly on an angle. There we go. Now we're good. And did you want to glue this down? You need to make that decision. Okay, I'm going to make it. We're going to do it. We're just going to glue it. We're just going to glue it. It's not. It's going to be okay. I'm going to glue it the other way because, well, no, that guy went that way. So I'm going to do it this way. Maybe straight. Straight is the way. Okay, well, he's straight. Well, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Just that. And, and, I think we need, I know, I know. You're like, oh, no, not that. Yes, yes, that. Um, here they come. Stickled them. Here it is. I got them. All right. Let's just have some fun on here. This is just scraps, right? So we can have fun. Oh, and since, well, there's no uh, copper in here, but I'm going to use this copper, copper stickles. Stickles is uh, basically glitter glue with a fine tip point. Just make sure you set it aside to dry. <laughs> you heard it here. Down up is the maneuver. Maybe we'll just put some little extra foo-foo on here. All right, that's good. And where are you going to show up? You're going to show up on the white. So I'm just going to follow this around like that. <clears throat> and I think that's enough. There, I, I call this done. Yes, there we go. All right. I'll give you a little closer look. Mm -hmm. There we go. Whatever that was, it's done. Put it over there to dry. Now, let us... What? You what? I hear you. I totally heard you. You're like, you didn't use those other two papers. I know, I know. Okay. So here we go. Here's, I have two papers left. What are you going to do with them, Pam? You pulled them out of your scrap drawer, or your scrap drawer, your scrap trunk, and, and you got to make them so, something with them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to make a tall folding. Am I going to make a tall folding? I'm not sure. Okay, let's let's make these not to meet in the middle. Okay. 
it, it's going to be a bookmark that opens in the middle. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's a page. Now it's a page folded in half. Are you following? Folding and then folding again. So it opens and then it opens. Okay, so this one is not very happy. So I think I'm going to have to shave this down a little bit. Let me, I'm just going to guillotine cut off that edge a smidge because I didn't make it right. Can't imagine how that happened. Okay, so now it's going to easily fold. Yes. So I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, it's thick enough, I would say. If I want to give it a little more thickness, what can I stick in it? What do I got? Well, I got some of this white paper. I can use that. I've got a lot of that. Oh, I'm totally looking now. I'm totally looking in my, my uh, craft bin. I'm cheating. I'm totally cheating. Oh, big cheater rooney <laughs> Okay, anyway, I got some white paper. Let's see, I put that there, put that there. Yeah, yeah I put you behind there. Yeah, let's just use, let's just do that. All right, what do we need? We need glue. Let's get some glue going on here. All right, we're getting glue. Glue and gluing across the back of this thing. And then we're gonna put this down. Checking to see, I might have to do some trimming. Yep, a little trimming will be necessary. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we don't need all that. Let's just be off with some of this. It doesn't have to be perfect because that's not going to be seen. All right, we're going to put a little glue on this. Are you with me? All right. I'll show you what we're making. It's probably easier to show you than explain it. Um, okay, put that there. Then, okay, now we're gonna glue this. We're gonna glue the whole thing closed. What, what, you just put all that stuff? That was just for um, stiffening purposes, just for a little extra girth there, a little thickness. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's what that was all about. Okay, you get it now? Okay, so hang on, you'll see, you'll see it's not hard. Okay, here we go. I should have used the other paper. That would have been, that'd have been done, the two papers. But, you know, I, it's, it's not going to show. Okay, so I need to deal with that. So let me cut that off. Just cut it off. That's the easiest way to deal with it. Oh, look at that. It's all even now. Look at, perfect. Yeah. So now let's fold this. Okay. And this is going to become something ultra fancy. I think you found your home. You may have found your home. Yeah. You may be the tall, giant, opening bookmark of it all. Yeah, that could have glued better than that, Pam. Get in there and glue that. Okay, here we go. Gluing better. All right, and actually, we could, we, could, we could sew those. Maybe we should do that. That would look pretty cool, wouldn't it? Let's do that. But what do we want to cover this with something? That looks in the middle. You know, we need to, <laughs> we need to do something about that. Okay, what else we got here? We got some... Uh, I'll put a piece of that. That's kind of cool. Uh, we could do a piece of this. I don't know. What should we do? Let's, you know what? Let's not do anything. Let's, um, let's ink it. Yeah, you weren't expecting that, were you? No, 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 you weren't. No, I know. I'm just going to do this. Yeah, that's going to handle that whole little white strip. It is no longer there. There we go. And I think since we're going with that, I'm just going to come around here and ink the edges of this. Give it an... Oh, I would say a little bit of a pink Victorian hue. Yes, pink Victorian hue in the worn lipstick. And we'll put that on the outside too. Why not? We'll just make it a whole, a whole theme. It'll be a theme for this little guy. Yes, this is kind of a little oddball oddity. Um, all right, but you know, he just had to be made. He wanted to become, come into the world and uh, I'm getting hungry. Is anybody else hungry? <laughs> I am hungry. Oh, don't think about food. Don't think about food. The more you don't try, try not to think about food, that's all you can think about is food, 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 right? Okay, see, I lost half of you right now. Y'all left because you went to get something to eat. <laughs> I know, I saw you. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah, I won't be far behind you. Don't worry, don't worry, but we can finish this together. Okay, so we have that and we have that. And that's kind of cool already, right? I mean, you could do a lot of things just with that. You could make this into a flip if you glued this side down onto a page and it could go, oh, look at that, wow. 
Well, but I, we are going to do the very amazing, strangely uh, satisfying opening bookmark. Here we go. We're going to sew this. Where's my thing? There it is. I'm getting my foot to it. Okay. Here we go. I think I can make my stitch farther apart. I'm kind of close. When you're working with paper, it's totally... Uh, Totally okay to make your stitches longer because you like you when you pierce paper over and over, it is um, it can perforate. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm going across here. Yeah, okay, so everybody's going to understand what the deal is here. Okay, so the deal is I'm going to do this. Oh, and now I'm going to turn it this way. I think this is going to work. Can you see? Can you see? Let me look. Oh, I think so. Not the greatest light, sorry. Um, and now we can fold this up because it's soft. Paper is soft. Okay. Well, I'm, I actually shouldn't have gone that far. Let me just back up. That was just kind of weird. I think I should have turned. Okay, now turn, turn, okay, go. Okay, and we're there, and turn, and right off the edge. Okay, I think I pretty much got all the edges. It's kind of a little weird, but it's all right, because it's only scrap paper. I'll show you, I'll show you my goof. You'll see it, you'll be like, oh yeah, you should have, you should have this weighed when you that weighed. Okay, there's something weird there. We'll just ignore that. But we pretty much got, to, uh, okay, I no, I, I, well, yeah, it's good enough. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, we're back. Okay, there we go. Oh, I know what's going on. No, no, didn't touch that, didn't touch that. I don't know what does that sometimes. Uh, anyway, we are good, we are good. Oh, look at that, we have uh, sewing on the outside. Who knew, you know? But, uh, or you can also completely turn the thing this way. How about that? That was fancy. Now we got that there. Uh, maybe we'll do that. Maybe Because I like the dark string on the outside and the lighter on the inside and they can write things and do things like that. So let's decorate this. Enough of this pussyfooting around. Apparently we have a lot of cat lovers. Found that out with my latest journal um, bundle sale. That um, And uh, a few cat non-lovers and that's okay. We understand. <laughs> um, uh, but... Um, here's the meow to it all. Let's see. What do we have? Let's decorate this with what we have. Um, okay. Well, I do have this. I like that 1871. Maybe that, put that on there somewhere. Um, I kind of like that. That's pretty. Let's just put it down. Okay, here we go. Committing to this. I'm almost out of this glue, but don't worry. I have more. Oh, I'm probably going to rip this. Oh, I don't want to rip it. Okay, don't rip it. Okay, I didn't rip it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There we go. And adding all these little things is going to make this little thing even thicker and stiffer. So that's kind of cool. Um, maybe I want to get a sticker. Anybody want to get a sticker? Sometimes it just calls for a sticker. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's just take a chance, see what we got. Okay. Oh, he's cute. We like him. He's a possibility. You're kind of cool. You may work. This big green thing. Oh, apple. Um, mushroom. A bear. Okay, I think maybe this little squirrely guy needs to come with us. Oh, maybe, maybe we can add this DigiKit picture. He just happened to be stuck in there. Who doesn't love a good mushroom? You know what I mean? Well, my, some people don't like mushrooms. I, I know. I know. I hear you. Okay. Okay, it's all right. Don't have to like mushrooms. No. Oh, my goodness. 40 minutes already. Um, okay. Well, here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I need more of that weird paper. Here's this weird paper. Give me some of that. I'm just going to put some glue down here. Put the paper on it, and I'll just kind of figure it out after that. There we go. Guys, you guys get down there and off. Okay. Mush you back on there. 
Got a little there, a little layering going on. Here's some scraps. Let's put all this stuff on that's just hanging around. Where they converge, you can kind of layer these little odd bits of something. You know, like, like, what's that? We could put that in there somehow, you know? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. Use up all our little stuff. Maybe this is... Have we gone over the edge? Have we gone too deep? Is this crafting, crafting gone, you know, crazy? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but it's okay, because it's only paper. Look at that whole thing is coming off because it's stuck to my thumb. Okay, there we go. And where's that little squirrel? I think he's going to look cute on there. Yeah. Um... Let's ink that up a little bit. I need it to be darker. There we go. That's how we get them darker. Put you on there. Maybe we're gonna we're gonna ink you up a little bit on the edges just to give you a little pop. You can do this with this sort of semi-glossy thingy. Oh, I found that stuff the other day. I should use it. Found where I made clear gesso and um, see how this sticker has got some sheen to it. You can maybe knock that down if you don't like that sheeny stuff. Um, let me try. Oh, Lord. This is going to be an hour. Come on, apart. Come on. Come on, Bessie. Come on to Mama. Yeah, okay, we're good. Nope, we're not good. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, no, we don't trust this glue. Right? Why? Because it's probably not that strong as we want a little more glue on there. Okay, so we put you here, maybe on this side. Straighten you out a little bit. Oh, okay, can you put it there? I think, no, there, okay. Let me get that stuff. I haven't played with this in ages. I wonder if I can even get the lid open. Do you remember when I made this? Clear gesso. I'd have to even watch my own video to remember how I made it. I'll try and put the link below. Okay, is it glued together? It could be completely glued together. Okay, let's try the tap, tap, tap. Okay, did that work? Oh, it worked, yay. Oh, we have some weird rust stuff on the inside. Uh, it probably still works. Let's try. Okay. I think it's got baby powder or cornstarch or something in it that when you just, um, and glue and water, I think that's it if I remember, but don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Um, the water is probably why it, um, rusted. Probably horrible. <sighs> so we'll see when that dries, if we, uh, if we scored on that or not. Now we have a whole middle zone. Oh yeah, we have the, this this guy. We could put him on there. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, we could just put this big one on there. That would be kind of cool. Uh, oh, you're pretty. Oh, and you're the night. You're the right colors. Yeah, let's use you. Okay, that's a little tag. Now we could. We could. I'm just saying we could. We could take a little of this copper thread and pop it through here and make a little tagaroonie to stick on, like a removable, non-removable tagaroonie. Put it on an angle, that's cute. Okay, let's do that, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, it's inking, inking. It's really only gonna show up on her dress at the bottom, but that's okay, it's okay. Maybe we need to tie a bow because this is all running amok. Let's, let's tie a bow. Okay, we have a bunny ears here. Come on, bunny, come on, bunny. Oh, lost the bunny. Okay, try again. And bunny ear number one. No, oh, let's try. All right, we'll try the crossed bunny. No, I can't do it. Let's try the wrap around the old, the way mature children tie it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Not bad. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. It's good. Okay, let's stick it on there. You can pretty much stick anything on these things. You know, it's just that way. It is. It's just that way. Okay, here we go. All right. And we're down. All right. We have that. That's kind of cute already, right? Yeah. I mean, okay, then we have this. And I think what I'm going to do, since we're already 44 minutes in, just making goofy stuff. What's that? That's pretty. I like that. Can we use that? Why is this on here? I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's just tear that off of there. I like this. Maybe this needs to be here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just need to be there. I don't know why. You just do. Oh, you're back in play, are you? You little fuzzball. You wanted to come in and be part of the whole scene. We'll talk about it. We'll see. Let me see. Is it gotta go? Everything's gotta be flat on the inside, right? Okay, here we go. 
There we go. All right, we are there. We are good. Okay, let's go back over here. I have this little fuzz of nothingness. Let me stick you somewhere. I need something here, like right there. Would have been better if it was pink, but yeah, that's what we have. Okay, way too far away. What are you doing way down there? Okay, we have that. We have that. And we have that. And then we have that. Oh, look, we're half glued. Half glue alert. Half glue. Get back in there. Okay. And uh, let's grab a marker. Let's just grab a marker and do some freewheeling here. Okay. Um, doop. Boop. Doop. Boop. Woo. Yep. Hand drawn lines. I think they look kind of cool. Okay, different lengths, not straight, not separated evenly from each other, but I think it's kind of cool. Okay, and then over here, 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 yeah. And we'll leave this side open for uh, if they want to put some pictures or something like that there. That would be fun. And let's see, um, so that's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, maybe we could do some rubber stamping down the back just to complete this. There, this will freak them out completely. A bumblebee, yeah. How about a bumblebee in pink? Yeah, let's try that. Just one bumblebee in the back, yeah. There we go, very simple, clean, um, and easy to do. So there we go, we have that, we have that. And uh, it's an opening bookmark. You can put a topper on it if you want, but since it opens, I think I'm gonna um, leave it as is, just so uh, it can be tucked into a journal um, made out of a book page. And what else did we make uh, today, Pam? Did you get anything completed? Yes. Yes, we did. We made this little journal for inside a journal, which is kind of fun. And we also made um, this little cluster. Uh, uh, oops. We made this little cluster. Yes, we did. So we were busy little bees. Oh, you want to see the sheen is going down? almost i think it's it's still drying but maybe a little bit more and the sheen will go down but i think it's i think it's not bad it, and it's still pretty shiny who are we kidding um let me try i'll try more of that and see what happens and i'll give you an update and we'll show it to you um the next time i do this i put more on and see if that works i think it needs more of the uh the, the, the this needs to be stirred because the cornstarch and everything settles to the bottom or the uh the baby powder yeah Ah, there you go. That's what that's what we got today. So I hope you're having fun. I hope you're getting all snuggled in for uh, the holidays coming up. And maybe you're making fun little paper things to add uh, to stocking stuffers or junk journals. Or you're just having fun for yourself. Most important person of all. And uh, there you go. So take care, everybody. Uh, big hugs from me and the sun bun. Sunny, do you have anything to say? Oh, Mom, I do. I would like to report... Oh, I have grand news, everyone. I have grand news. What is it, Sunny? I had a bath. Yes, I had a bath. Oh, she's going to do the upshot in the nose again. Mom, please, please make it. Please, can I, not too close. Okay, okay, better. Okay. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I had a bath. I'm. Yeah, there's no light in my eye. I don't know why <laughs> my eyes are closed. But she did pull me out of a complete nap. Because I was all clean and I was all snuggly and it just felt good to nap. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with a good nap in life. We should all have more naps. More naps for everyone. I'm going to run for president. More naps for you. More naps for you and treats for all. Yay. Okay, everybody. All right. You can get off your podium now, mister. Okay. Didn't know he was going to be running for president. Okay. <laughs> Um, so everybody take care. Um, and uh, for uh, everybody who's been here, thank you so much. And for everybody who's new, I'm going to torture you with this lovely thing I always say at the end. Here we go. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter where you get a free digital image emailed to you every month along with a whole plethora of other wonderful things. So make sure you sign up for that. Link is down in the description box below. I have a Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. Doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these fabulous videos. I have an Etsy shop where I sell um, fundals, which are collections of 100 pieces of very old or unique uh, papers. I sell my vintage digi kits, which are printable downloads. There's over 126 to pick from. Have fun with that. And um, they're themed. 
and easy to cut out. And if you don't have a printer at home, I have a print and mail service. So check out that button and it'll tell you how to do that. You just send me the name of 10 kits, uh, send the list to pam at thepaperoutpost.com and buy the print and mail option. And then I print them out and mail them to you. I have an Amazon shop with all my favorite tools and supplies. So if you're looking for, um, you know, what glue stick and things like that, you can find that in there. And um, I have, um, oh, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And all the links are located in the drop down description box below. Please, um, if you uh, find value or like, um, if you find value or like this video, please like the video. <laughs> that makes no sense. If you had fun, please like the video and click the notification bell. And remember, remember more important than anything that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. Hey, it's only paper. See you next time. Bye.